my new staff. Hey, have a good summer. <laughs> have a good summer, Biatch! What is good, YouTube? Zion Amari Real Spit TV. Let's spit that real. Now, I want to address the notion that Will Smith protected Jada Pinkett in this situation with Chris Rock at the Oscars. Because I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it over and over and over and over again. I keep hearing people, women in particular, say, oh, he was protecting his wife. And I need clarity on that because I need to understand how you protect a 50 year old woman from a joke that has already been told, right? Because when we talk about protection, protection is usually proactive, right? You prevent something from happening when you protect somebody, right? But Chris Rock already got the joke off. So what y'all are calling protection is nothing more than vengeance. Okay. And men and women pay attention to how people, women in particular, will use certain words to manipulate the understanding of a situation. Right. So they're using the word protection and trying to make it sound more ambiguous and deep than it actually is y'all are talking about revenge going up and smacking somebody for telling a joke that your wife didn't like is not protection that's revenge now protection would have been smacking him before he could tell the joke right that would be a better example i'm not even gonna say a better example but in this situation, that would be the best example of protection if he stopped Chris Rock from telling the joke. But at the point that the joke came out, the damage was already done. And they making this situation way bigger than it. They making the joke way bigger than, than what it actually was because she wasn't really that hurt about the joke. She was just pissed off because she don't like Chris Rock for one. Because Chris Rock came at them and had jokes about them when they boycotted the uh, Oscars in 2016. So even if you look at her face, you can see that when he said the joke, she wrote, kind of rolled her like, eyes like, oh, okay, this nigga, or this nigga, go. you know, I already don't like this nigga. He can, you know, it was that kind of situation. But it wasn't a, oh my God, I'm so hurt. I'm brave. She didn't cry. She was, she was just a little annoyed by the joke. She wasn't even super mad. Like she was just a little annoyed. So this whole notion that Will, you know, swooped in and protected her is complete and utter bullshit. What Will did was make an ass out of himself in front of the whole world trying to protect a woman who doesn't protect you. Right? And why would you want to protect you know, emotionally protect somebody that hasn't emotionally protected you. This woman at every turn has taken every opportunity to embarrass the hell out of this man. So just because she has the title of wife does not mean that she deserves your protection. Women get what they deserve. And I'm, I'm sick of this notion that women automatically get protection women automatically get this they automatically get that just because they're a woman or just because it's your wife or your girlfriend or whatever and that's that's bullshit people get what they deserve sometimes you put people in a position that they really don't deserve to be in but at that point that you put them in that position you didn't have the under that you didn't have the knowledge to know right so you can wipe up a thought but this thought might have you know, dress conservative, didn't go out, didn't party and club and go to bars and, you know, what on social media, don't post thirst trap type pictures. She could be a family woman. I, I have known women that don't do nothing but work, take care of their kids and be family women. 
but she is the biggest fat in the world. So a lot of these women can fool you if you're going on an outward look. So you could put that woman into a position and then realize she been cheating on me for the past 10 years, right? When I'm at work, she got dudes coming over my house. Or are you going to protect her? If you decide to stay with her for whatever reason, because men have different reasons, you know, sometimes it's for the kids. Sometimes it's for the family. Sometimes it's for, you know, you don't want to lose your money, whatever. You, you got so many years invested, whatever. If you do make a conscious decision to stay with a woman that is not worthy, um, you know, of protection, do not be on no simp white night shit. When these types of situations happen, she's going to have to take that on the chin because guess what? He had to take that goddamn entanglement on the chin. He had to take her saying, you know, he don't really please her in the bedroom on the chin. She has embarrassed him at every turn. So I don't know why people are acting like she is so great that she is above a joke. Somebody telling a joke about her. I, I don't get that. So I, I really need to understand what he protected her from and how he protected her from this joke that was already told. All right. Zion Amari, Real Spit TV. I'm out.